Video game violence and glorification must be stopped. It's creating monsters. That's a Twitter quote straight from his, well, I guess fingers, Donald Trump. Shame he feels that way because no other world leader has starred in as many video games as Donald Trump has. While the current US president may be breaking records in, well, other highly debatable areas, one thing we can all agree on is how satisfying it is to play as the real estate tycoon turned 45th president of the United States of America. Some of the games on this list will piss you off if you're a Trump supporter. Trigger warning. And if you're not, well, get ready for list of games you'll likely be downloading pretty soon to help with all the existential anxieties the current political states of the US is putting you through. But no biases here friends, just games. Let's get down to it. In at number 10 is Donald Trump's Real Estate Tycoon. Let's start off this list with a game approved by Trump himself, Donald Trump's Real Estate Tycoon. Released in 2002, the game actually features Donald's voice throughout. Essentially, it's a single player game in which your objective is to beat Trump by becoming the most influential business magnate out there. The PC version gives you an option of choosing the best real estate location in five levels, or rather cities. Those being New York City, London, Paris, Atlantic City, and LA. After those levels are passed, you enter into a business competition with Trump himself, trying to force him into bankruptcy. The game got decent reviews, but ultimately critics said it was barely any different from other tycoon games available. And at number 9 is the Trump Castle series. Now let's take a look at the oldest game that Trump has starred in. Or rather, his buildings have starred in. The Trump Castle series released games between 1988 and 1993, and were considered to be simple gambling simulation games. The very first game, which was available on the Atari ST and the Commodore 64 among other early consoles, let you play blackjack, craps, keno, poker, roulette, and slots. The second game that dropped in 1991 was a bit more advanced, allowing players to explore Trump Castle and talk to people staying at the hotel, which carried over into the third game too, but this time it incorporated it into a third person view. Up next number 8 is The Apprentice Los Angeles. Aw, oh, take a look at the box on that one. Both Trump and his daughter Ivanka, it's a family affair, just like the show. So this game developed by Legacy Interactive in 2007 was based entirely off of Trump's reality show The Apprentice. So how do you play? Well you have to find a business star, all by managing stores and restaurants. Homer Rose is in it too. Up next number 7 is Punch the Trump. Getting into satire land now, here we have one of the many online games that have sprung up in the past year starring the Donald. And needless to say, he isn't really portrayed in the kindest of lights. While there was a plethora of online games to choose from, this and our next number were the highest rated cream of the crop. So in Punch the Trump, a game created by a developer that focuses specifically on crafting celebrity brawl games, your objective is pretty simple, Punch Trump. Next up at number 6 is Trump Pinata. A simple but effective game in terms of getting its point across, Trump Pinata is, well, simple. And almost the most immersive on this list considering it's VR. You hit Trump, who is hanging from a tree with a baseball bat, and then he says one of his multiple lines made infamous during the election campaign. I know words, I have the best words. This all happens while nuclear explosions go off in the background, and eventually, you decapitate him. Up next, number 5 is Leader Strike. Another online game from the same site as our last number, CrazyGames.com, Leader Strike is a little bit morbid. It's a first person shooter, with, I quote, a political twist. The threat of war is escalating, and you take on either Trump, Kim Jong un, or Vladimir Putin, and choose to either start your own game or join an existing server, and then shoot up as many politicians as you can. The more you progress, the more weapons and characters you unlock. Morbid but incredibly satisfying to play. Up next number 4 is Make America Great Again, The Trump Presidency. Compared to most of the other games on our list, this one is generally viewed as pro-Trump and was inspired by the subreddit The Donald. It's essentially a simulator that lets you play as Trump as president, taking care of your day to day presidential tasks. These very presidential objectives include invading China, shooting ISIS militants while hanging from a helicopter, cultivating love and building the wall at the US-Mexico border. Pepe even makes an appearance too. And at number 3 is Make America Great Great again. So that makes two video games and counting that have adopted Trump's campaign slogan, which probably isn't much of a surprise. But despite sharing a title with our last number, it's a very different game in terms of genre. A 2D side scrolling platform, you play as a stout little Trump taking care of ISIS. It's been critiqued for having super sensitive controls and only giving you one life. If you're shot or hit barbed wire before you get to the checkpoint, you're immediately dead and have to start over. I ain't so little. Up next, number two is the Trump Simulator VR. Another VR game on our list, this one puts you in Trump's shoes as he's backstage right before he's meant to give a speech. You're given a to-do list of things to take care of in the room, with objects you can interact with while the clock ticks down. And 
and if you beat the game, you're treated to a bonus game. The game's description goes on to say, We are passionate about finding ways to engage our peers with our political system, and we thought a virtual reality game would be a novel, entertaining medium to learn more about the Republican candidate. And as you can gander, it's very much a satire. And finally, in at number one is Mr. President. In this game, you play a bodyguard, who is apparently bulletproof, and must protect President Ronald Rump. Cute. Essentially, all you have to do is jump in front of bullets as people shoot at the president during speeches. As the game describes, I quote, Liberal media has rigged the election and tarnished his glowing public image. Now they are trying to end his life. You need to leap, flip, fling, roll, and many other verbs to get between rump and certain death. Alright, there we go guys. There's plenty more where that came from, so if you guys want us to do a part 2, let us know in the comments below. And if you dug this video, make sure you show us some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. And hey, while you're at it, maybe check out one of our other videos, like the ones in our Dumbest Ways to Die video game playlist. In the meantime, thanks for watching guys, I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming, I'll catch you guys in the next one.